So in this video, I'm going to discuss what I think are the best and worst bosses from each Mario game. And like in the Kirby video that I made last week, I haven't played every game in this series either, but I've got experience with a lot of them, so there's a total of 16 games to cover here. The first is, of course, the original Super Mario Bros, which I played on both the Nintendo Switch Online NES thing and that Mario Game & Watch that they made. Every boss is pretty much the same here, since it's all Bowser, except, technically, the earlier Bowsers are called Fake Bowsers. So I think the earlier Fake Bowsers are the greatest fights, while the final true Bowser is the worst, solely because the final Bowser, the real one that you fight, he throws those stupid hammers at you, and before you fight that final one, there's that evil hammer bro that's honestly harder than Bowser himself, so it makes it a lot more annoying. Mario Bros. 2 is an all-around weird game, and all the bosses are kind of bad if you ask me, but the best of them is Fry Guy, that fire thing. This fight just feels the most open and free compared to the others. Unlike Mauser, who's easily the worst fight because you just stand there throwing bombs at him as he most of the time just dodges them, so it's pretty drawn out and boring, and I kind of just hate the entire way this game plays. Mario Bros. 3 introduced the Koopalings, so most of the boss fights are very similar because they're mostly just those fights. However, I really like Koopaling fights since I grew up with New Super Mario Bros. Wii, so I picked Boom Boom as the worst fight here specifically because his fight doesn't follow that same formula that the Koopaling fights follow. But the best fight is Roy, and I should technically say that the best fight is just any Koopaling, but Roy has always been my favorite design-wise, so... I'm using him as the representative for that. Super Mario World brought the Koopalings back, except I personally think it ruined them in every way possible. It changed some of their color palettes for literally no reason, it made them look uglier, and it gave them new fights that are a lot worse than the ones in Mario 3, especially Wendy, who I'm picking as the worst fight in the game. You just stand there and play a game of whack-a-mole with her as she pops out of random pipes, and it's really not that hard. And it's not that good either. And yes, I'm not a Mario World enjoyer, despite virtually every other Mario fan thinking it's a great game. The best fight is Ludwig, because it's the only Koopaling fight that actually keeps that formula of the Koopaling fights from Mario 3, where you just jump on them and they spin around in their shell. Mario 64 is a game that I first experienced on the remake on the DS, but many years later on the Switch as well. The best fight, in my opinion, is Chief Chili. I like the Big Bully and the Chill Bully fights, but this one is like those, but just much better with multiple stages, as he comes back multiple times to make the stage smaller each time. The worst fight, though, is Mr. or Big Mr. I. I really wanted to give him some pity points and pretend he wasn't even a boss, but apparently he is. So if running around in a circle for two seconds is a boss fight, then it sucks, and this is the worst one. New Super Mario Bros. was one of the first games I ever played in my life, and I think the worst fight here is easily Mega Goomba. You just stand there hiding for a few seconds, then rise up on that little platform to jump on him. It's really not anything special. The best fight is definitely the final fight against Bowser and Bowser Jr. Usually I don't like that classic Bowser fight formula where he just shoots fire at you as you try to reach the other side, but this is a nice spin on it as Bowser Jr. is also there. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is another one of the earliest games of my childhood, so I have a fondness for all the bosses in it. Except for Wendy, because water is involved, and like I said in the Kirby video, water levels and water boss fights suck. But the best boss fight is undoubtedly the final Bowser fight, which was easily the most intense thing a child could experience in the late 2000s. Mario Galaxy is a game I only played on Switch and not on Wii, so I didn't get the real experience with all the motion and pointer controls, but I still found it to be a great game. The worst fight, though, is easily Mandabug Stack, because it's just a joke, like Big Mr. Eye from Mario 64, and it feels more like an enemy than anything. You literally just step on him and he's dead. But the best fight is Bouldergeist. It has a nice atmosphere, and the whole idea of just swinging these boos into a giant rock monster to make him break apart is pretty fun. Galaxy 2 was actually a game I played on Wii because I had to, since they left it out of 3D All-Stars for some reason. The worst fight was, without a doubt, Squizzard. You have to throw fireballs into his mouth while dodging his attacks and avoiding getting sucked up. 
by the quicksand all around you. And the reason I hate this is because to throw the fireballs, you have to shake the Wii Remote. And it might be because I played the game over a decade after its release and my Wii Remotes have seen better days, but it was incredibly hard for me to actually do this fight because of how unresponsive the fire was at times and how hard I had to shake the remote. In addition to the fact that the entire setup of the fight is just kind of annoying. The best fight is definitely the Boomstay machine. Using the clouds to climb up into the sky while avoiding lightning made for a pretty good fight. Definitely the most interesting in the game if you ask me. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is on another game that has the Koopalings in it. And I'm putting Wendy at the bottom for the third time because she sucks and I hate her and I don't feel like elaborating. The best fight is definitely the secret dry Bowser fight because it's just like the normal final Bowser fight but he looks slightly cooler. And that whole fight is essentially just the one from the Wii but vertical instead of horizontal so it gets bonus points from me. 3D Land and 3D World are kind of similar in a way and they both include this boss that I'm not a fan of called Pom Pom who I think is the worst from both games. You just have to jump on the head of the real one, and it's really not that hard to tell who's real. So it's a pretty lame fight. As for 3D Land, the final Bowser fight is the best just because of how epic and climactic it is. Since I love the Wii final fight so much, the whole idea of not actually fighting the boss and just being chased has always been cool to me, so this fits that nicely. As for 3D World though, even though the uh, Meowser final fight is also a chase, I honestly prefer the second Bowser fight more. There's been fights in the past where you just send bombs back at the boss that they throw at you, like that stupid Mauser guy from Mario 2 which sucked, but this one actually does that concept justice. And I'm gonna count Bowser's Fury as its own game even though it's kind of not, and I'm gonna say that the Luigi Shadow is the worst boss, if you even consider it a boss. You just have to chase him around and I really don't want to explain this one. Long story short, every time something like this has ever appeared in a Mario game, like Sunshine and Galaxy, it sucks. And the best fight is definitely Silver Fury Bowser though. The whole Fury Bowser fight in general is definitely one of the most epic ones against Bowser ever, but when he looks even cooler than usual, when he's silver instead of red, I have to put it on top for this game. Next is Mario Party 9, and yes, I'm going to Mario sub-series now because some of them have boss fights. Since this game's boss fights are kind of mini-game oriented, since it's like a a party game, obviously, they're automatically pretty fun, except for Cheap Cheap, because you have to use motion controls, which can be pretty rough sometimes, and more importantly, it's underwater, so it automatically sucks. The best fight is definitely Blooper, though, and this one also has water involved, but you're not swimming in it, so that saves it from being awful. In this fight, you shoot cannons from a ship at Blooper as it jumps from the ocean, and I've always thought this one was pretty epic and fun. Next is Mario Party DS, which features some boss fights in the story mode. The worst of these is Bowser, because it's the only one that actually annoyed me and took me multiple tries, because I couldn't figure out how to actually attack him without getting hit by his fire for a while. The best fight is definitely Kamek, though, and this is genuinely a really good fight for some reason, despite being kind of obscure and tucked away in this story mode. First, you fly through a library on a book as you dodge random obstacles, and then you get to the final room where... You fight Kamek and you have to shoot ink at him as he tries to launch more books at you. It's honestly pretty fun for some reason. Lastly, I'm going to discuss Mario Kart DS, and yes, this game has bosses in it. The worst of which is probably Goom Boss. It's the only boss, aside from the secret Wiggler boss that I never unlocked because I didn't feel like it, that you actually have to beat in a race. The others are all something unique. And you may be wondering how I could think that the worst boss in a racing game is the one that actually involves racing, but it's because of what I just said. It's the only one that doesn't put you in an interesting spin on the mechanics of the game. If they're going to add bosses, they should all be something interesting. For example, the best boss in the game, in my opinion, is Chief Chili. His fight is pretty much the same as it is in Mario 64 or Mario 64 DS, except of a Mario Kart spin on it as you have to collect mushrooms to boost into him to push him off the stage. If the Goom Boss fight was something unique like this instead of a race, I'd like it more. And now, like I did in the Kirby video, I want to name my favorite overall and least favorite overall Mario boss fights. The worst of all time, I don't even have to question this one, is Squizzard from Mario Galaxy 2. I don't think I've ever been as annoyed by a boss fight 
ever compared to that when I did that. It took me way too long to beat it. Again, it might have just been my Wii remote being old or something, but it controlled terribly and it just sucked. But the best Mario fight ever is undoubtedly the final Bowser fight in Mario Wii. It was just so epic back in the day, and I still love it so much, even though it's a lot easier than it was when I was really young. And I will forever think that that is easily one of the greatest boss fights of all time, if not the greatest. So yeah, uh, that's all I've really got to say. So if you like this video, consider liking and subscribing and leaving comments or something, and thanks for watching.